to Stranra, the main point of embarkation for Larne in Northern Ireland. The car ferry Darnia dated from 1977. The roll-on, roll-off car ferry Galloway Princess from 1980. Whilst the 37,000 tonne Ailsa Princess was older, being built in 1971. In 1966, King Ori prepared to leave Ardrossan for the six-hour crossing to Douglas. The Clyde was once a wonderful hunting ground for those interested in excursion steamers. For example, Talisman of 1935 is seen at Rothsey shortly before her withdrawal. Duchess of Hamilton leaves Loch Ranza on the Isle of Arran in July 1965. Built by Harland and Wolfe in 1932, this oil burner was withdrawn in 1970. Well into the 60s, thousands of Glaswegians still relished a sail doom the water. From the decks of the pleasure steamers, they could observe the variety of vessels entering and leaving the Clyde. Glasgow was one of the busiest ports in the country, handling a rich mix of imports and exports. Now these once busy docks are all silent. Exports had included Scotch whisky, textiles and heavy machinery, such as giant steam locomotives. The steam turbine Queen Mary II, built in 1935 for the Caledonian Steam Packet Company, could carry cargo as well as up to 2,000 passengers. One of the most loved paddlers was the Genie Deans, built for the LNER in 1931. Capable of carrying nearly 1,500, she was originally coal-fired and had a top speed of 18 and a half knots. Further views of Queen Mary II. The St. Columba of 1912 was known as the Wee Cunada because of her three red and black funnels. She made her last sailings in 1957. Many vessels were railway owned and linked Glasgow with both the coastal towns along the Firth of Clyde as well as many of the nearby islands. In the past, the Clyde had also been crossed by numerous ferries, including this one at Renfrew. On Loch Lomond, Maid of the Loch is seen at Ballot Pier. Although laid up for many years, there is hope this fine vessel could be preserved. Already well over 45 years old when filmed, King George V approaches Oban in August 1973. Three years later, the small car ferry Butte is seen at Malaig. Until withdrawn in 1970, the Loch Fine of 1931 made a daily return sailing from Guruk to Ardrishe, carrying the mail. The vehicle ferries linking Skye with the railhead at the Kyle of Loch Alsh were replaced by a new road bridge in the mid-80s. When the fourth road bridge was opened in 1964, the heavily used Queen's Ferry Passage was closed. 
work latterly by four flush deck paddlers, these had only just been able to handle the growing volume of traffic.